Welcome to the After Ascension Podcast, Episode 2. I am so happy to report that Episode 1 was a complete success. The feedback was really positive, and that filled my heart. Because the truth about the Ascension process is that it can feel a little lonely. And to be in the position to put something out there that can help people in a positive way, nothing makes me happier. So thank you for all of you who have watched, and if you haven't tuned into episode one yet, I would encourage you to do that. Because even though we all feel at times like we're doing this alone, the truth is that we're all in this together, we're all helping each other, even if that's not in a direct way. Every single one of us is contributing, and that's something that's really special. It's a quantum relationship that we have each other that's bringing us closer to the ultimate goal which is peace within ourselves and peace for every one of our brothers and sisters that we're sharing this little blue spaceship with. The first thing I want to do in this podcast is discuss the energies that we're experiencing recently. Um, in my situation, probably the same for you, as soon as 2020 came along, my ability to sleep completely went away and even though I was exhausting my vessel I was still having a really tough time falling into sleep and I would go to bed exhausted and as soon as my head hit the pillow I would be wide awake and even when I was sort of getting into a state that allowed me to fall asleep it wasn't really sleep sleep it was sort of like I don't know, being consciously there, even though my body was shut down. And to me, what this means is as soon as the, the energy hit the 2020, the energy systems within me are sort of recalibrating and my physical self is adjusting to the new frequency that starting to operate at. I think many of us are going to sleep in a room that's a nice temperature but still somehow waking up drenched in sweat that's a sure sign that you've got a lot of chi building up inside of you and you can exercise you can meditate you can decompress yourself throughout the day however you know how but there's not a ton you can do it's just something we kind of have to to deal with but luckily at least in my situation this period didn't last very long I have since moved into a period where I'm sleeping really deep and this is accompanied by extremely lucid vivid dreams and the interesting thing about the dreams is they aren't as scattered as my dreams normally are meaning that there's structure to them it's more of being in a different reality but in the same vessel so instead of jumping all over the place, things are going crazy and they're sort of abstract. It's more of a one foot in front of the other, just simply existing in this alternate reality type of situation. And it's actually really fun because I have dedicated myself to the study and practice of lucid dreaming. And because of that, I'm allowing the opportunity to experience these dreams in a way that is like being plugged into a movie and I have to say it's actually a lot of fun and it makes me excited to fall asleep but it actually makes it hard to stay awake because you know normal life can at times be mundane and a little boring so I would rather fall asleep and go on this adventure so it can be a little tough in that regard but it's an awesome experience to have nonetheless and last night I actually had four super vivid dreams and I woke up out of them thinking I should probably write these down but then I thought no they're so vivid that I don't really think I need to but then of course I fell asleep after that and I only remember one of them which brings me to my next point create a dream journal it's really important and when you do log your dreams you have to do it immediately after waking up. And when you wake up for good, you're going to thank yourself because you're going to be able to go back and study what was shown to you. 
this is a form of communication that the universe uses and your higher self uses to to show you what direction you need to go what things you need to clear and the work you need to do karmically and akashically in order to move forward so log your dreams record every detail go back through and study it when you are awake and aware you're going to thank yourself and you're going to create the opportunity for your higher self to give you more instructions more details about where you're going where you've been and who you're going to be so with that being said all of these little spiritual tips and tricks are all geared towards bringing you back to one thing and that is the higher self everything you're doing everything you are learning every step you're taking is all leading you back to your higher self period because truly that's all that exists because you can be in this reality you're studying you're learning you're seeing how this story unfolds the only thing you can be sure of is that it's you that's plugged into this vessel looking through these eyes what I'm doing what your neighbors doing what your government's doing none of that matters because ultimately the greatest thing you can do to contribute to this collective experience is return home so what's your relationship with your higher self what outside distractions are you allowing to pull you away are you finding moments here and there to acknowledge your higher self and recognize that it's you or are you walking hand in hand every moment of every day because that's where you want to be it's that acknowledgement it's that meld that's going to allow you to cut through any challenge this reality can throw at you like a hot knife through butter so right now what i want to ask you to do is take a moment to yourself sit down and really think about what you're involved with in your life that you can cut away it's time as an old soul in 2020 to trim the fat what is this illusion throwing at you that has you with one foot in and one foot out spirit right now is asking you to be all in sometimes during the ascension process as an old soul it's really easy to get stuck in a loop meaning that hey I'm awake I think I have this new perspective I need to absorb this information I need to have this experience I need to do this before I can return to my higher self the truth is you don't have to have it all figured out you don't have to know how the nuts and bolts of this thing work and if you are someone out there who thinks I need to do this I need to do this before I'm worthy that's part of the illusion the illusion is part of the ascension process it's a push and pull of light and dark energy that is fighting for your attention you don't have to solve every puzzle that's in front of you to return to your higher self it truly is unconditional and all it takes to get to that point acknowledging 100% of the time that your higher self is there with you doesn't matter if you're walking around the grocery store doesn't matter if you're driving to work you can be in a state of connection all that's required is that you change your perspective on what this experience is that you're having so with that in mind I just want to read you a short piece of the source message from February 5th which is today depending on when you're listening and it's something that really rings true and I think will tie into the message that I'm trying to get across pretty well trust me when I tell you that your higher being needs no direction from the 3d you it's the other way around you have no idea what's in store for you until you let the fire that burns inside of you set the rest of your world ablaze. The universe is begging you to sit and watch the movie instead of being so stressed trying to produce it. And that's a message to me that hits the nail right on the head as source messages always does. And this also brings me back to a cryon channeling 
not sure when, where it was from, but it's something that stuck with me for years and years because it's a great metaphor for uh, where we're at currently. So you're at your desk, you are working on your finances or you're working on a project of some sort and the child runs up to you and they want your attention. So you give them that love, but that child is not gonna help you with the finances. The child isn't going to help you with the project you're working on. God doesn't need your help creating the universe. So what you need to know at this time is that whatever else you have going on, whatever issue is facing you, whatever, whatever challenge that's in front of you that seems so impossible to overcome, know that God is bigger. Know that as this thing unfolds for you, your best interest is at heart. Spirit knows exactly what you're trying to do. They know how to get you there because the way forward is clear. There's no confusion. All you have to do is clear the illusion from your field. And you do that by acknowledging the unseen, trusting in things that are greater than you, and believing that the end result of this process will be the reunion of you and your soul and the manifestation of the abundance that you came here to experience. And you have many brothers and sisters here who have crossed that barrier and are willing to give a detailed description on what you need to do to do the same. And you've had many examples throughout history of brothers and sisters who you may have been that have come here and overcome all obstacles to do things that shouldn't be possible based on sort of the book that this reality has put together. So as you sit here listening to my voice, know that no dream is too big, no goal is too large to accomplish. And as spirit channels through vessels on this planet, the common theme in those messages is truly nothing is out of reach, nothing is impossible, and nothing is bigger than you. Please let that sink in. Because as you let go of control and begin to expand, everyone around you benefits from that, awake or not. And to me, that's something worth fighting for. That's something worth being better for. Because there's a lot of good in this reality that our brothers and sisters here deserve to experience. Everyone deserves love. Everyone deserves freedom. Everyone deserves to feel special and important and cared for. And as the old souls on this planet do what they came here to do, these are things that we will not settle for anything less. We will move forward on our mission with conviction in a dedicated manner that will allow heaven on earth to manifest here and do so in a time frame that is appropriate. And in a universe and a galaxy that is so abundant, there can be no greater accomplishment. There's nothing more beautiful than crawling out of the depths of darkness to create a beacon of hope for future generations and for species and beings on planets that don't even exist yet to look to and say, hey, look what they did, we can do the same. And the ones who exist on that planet, who are doing that work, it's you. And the reason you came here to do this on this one is because you've done it before on others. This isn't anything that's foreign. This isn't anything that's new. It's all been done before. The ones who came before us, they're you. The ones who had all of that success and created ascended planets, they're you. The ones who have failed, they're also you. But we've passed the, the failure marker. We're for sure in a state of growth that is just a matter of free will and how fast we want to create heaven on earth. So old soul, wherever you are right now, if the old energy's taking it to you, be brave, believe, and ignite the fire within you. Burn away all doubts and become who you came here to be. 
because the people on this planet, especially the children, deserve the best that this reality has to offer. And once you awaken and see that these things are true and that there are greater forces at work here, there should be no hesitation in your being because this is who you are and this is what you came to do. The planet needs you. It needs you to be healthy. It needs you to be happy and it needs you to be clear. And these are all things that you deserve anyway. So I think for right now, that is going to conclude episode two. I think I'm going to title this episode, The Way Home, as I'm sure you've already known by this point because you've clicked on the link and you're listening. But I just wanted to say, I do feel myself getting more comfortable. I do feel myself improving and becoming more clear and um, having more conviction in the message that I want to share. So I just want to let you know, going forward, the plan for this podcast is to release every Wednesday and Friday. And I have some other things I'm working on, some segments that I want to include in the podcast. And I think they're going to get a little bit longer and a little bit more detailed going forward as I get better at what I'm trying to do. But so far, I'm really excited and happy with how things have turned out. If you know anyone who you think would benefit from hearing this message, please share this podcast with them. It would mean a lot to me, and it would really help us expand and grow, especially as we move past this sort of awkward initial beginning phase. So right now, we are working on getting some new sponsors so we can make this podcast more financially viable going forward, especially since our YouTube channel is not monetized. We're looking forward to creating something special with this. So like I said, new episodes every Wednesday and Friday, and if you would like to contribute financially, there is a PayPal link in the description. If you want to collaborate in some way, I also have my personal email that I will include. Thank you again for being here and looking forward to sharing with you in the future and helping build this paradise that we're looking forward to. Take care.